Well, good morning. Welcome to our daily prayers. It's Friday. One of the wonderful privileges I have is um, seeing uh, my curate, uh, that's Larissa Trust, um, ordained uh, tomorrow. So do please be praying for her. At the moment, she's on retreat with the other curates preparing for their ordination. Um, obviously, this is a really important time for her. So let's pray that God will speak to her and encourage her as she's on this retreat. And so we come before the Lord now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire. What a wonderful expression. Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Once again, we're at Luke 4, verse 40. At sunset, the people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of illness, and laying his hands on each one, he healed them. Moreover, demons came out of many people, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew he was the Messiah. At daybreak, Jesus went out to a solitary place. The people were looking for him, and when they came to where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because that is why I was sent. And he kept on preaching in the synagogues of Judea. We talked yesterday of finding space for God in the middle of a busy life and how Jesus determinedly carved that out. Now, in one sense, we see the fruit of his relationship with God. Bear in mind, he's had enormous success in the town that he's in, Capernaum, and it'd been very tempting to stay around there. There are loads more people to heal and to talk to and to teach. But in coming out, you get the sense Jesus spent time with his father and reset himself and reminded himself of his priorities. Much as it would have been great to stay in Capernaum, his real mission was to travel around preaching the kingdom of God so that many could hear. And I guess it's a reminder for us that actually it's so easy in life to go charging headlong into things or reacting about things. But actually our true direction in life, our Christian direction in life, comes from God and it often comes from spending time with God in prayer. And out of that relationship we have with our Heavenly Father, so we receive the Spirit's guidance. How good are you and I are spending time in prayer, listening to God, because he has good things for both you and me. Space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, 
now and for evermore. Amen.